Hi, this is Todd Prophet with Stage Directions Magazine. And once you finish your website, you need a quick and easy way for people to find it. There's two ways you can do this. The first is by registering a domain name. A domain name can be anything that you want it to be. In most cases, you might want to make it your name or some variant of your name if someone already has your your name or as a, as a dot com. Um, mine is just quite simply toddprofit.com. Where can you get a domain name? There's a couple different places um, that I recommend. The first is hover.com and or uh, possibly even um, GoDaddy. I've used both in the past. They're uh, close to the same price. Hover is just slightly more expensive. You do get one thing with Hover that you don't get with GoDaddy. You uh, actually get um, something called Who is Privacy. Whenever you register a domain name, you're required uh, to put uh, your address and phone number up so that someone can contact you. Who is Privacy is a service in which uh, someplace like Hover will actually put their address up for you, and then if someone wants to contact you, Hover will contact you. It's not that important, but if you're concerned about privacy, I'd recommend that. Um, GoDaddy tends to be a little cheaper. The other thing with GoDaddy is, is you're going to get a lot of advertisements for other for their other services. But again, I've used both, and I like both. Both have good customer service. Um, web uh, a web name can cost you anywhere from five or six dollars a year to um, thousands of dollars a year, depending on the name that you actually want. So let's say I just wanted to get lighting.com. And we see that it's actually not available. We can get lighting.democrat at $38 a year. Um, and here's some of it. And it will actually give you some other options. Um, let's try, I'm going to cheat and actually use, uh, let's look up my name. So if we go to Todd Profit, we're going to see that, take a second to search. It says it's not available. That's because I already own it. But if I wanted to get toddprofit.net or toddprofit.info, I could actually purchase those uh, just a little cheaper. Okay, uh, I like to spend some time. I just like to play around with, with different options just to see what is available and what is the cheapest. Now, before you click on your order and purchase your domain name, uh, you want to go out and do a quick web search and look for a coupon. Most of the web domain sites, uh, either Hover or GoDaddy, offer um, have coupon codes. Uh, they sponsor podcasts. They sponsor websites. And all you need to do is click on that. If you do a quick Google search, you can easily find um, a, uh, a coupon that will save you. Typically, it's up to 10%, which can add up uh, over the years. So... Uh, this is one way. So once you register your domain name, they're going to have instructions on how, or you're most likely whoever using doing your website through is going to have instructions on how to actually tie that to your website. Some of the free services are going to charge you for this. Okay, um, so you want to really look if if you're using a free service, you really want to look into it and see if you can if it, if it costs extra to do that. If not, you can still use the free service and you just point the site to. Um, your web page and it will it will forward it there it's called link for or it's called page forwarding and again hover or GoDaddy will have instructions on how to do that uh, the next thing I want to show you to do is sometimes you get that site and you, you just you can't afford the $10 a year for the, the domain name um, but that website's a little long um, for instance here's the example of my my Wix site now it's not too bad but to tell somebody hey please go to toddprofit.wix.com slash toddprofit could be a handful Another thing you can do is use something called a link shortener. Um, and what I'll do, what you can do is, my favorite is bit.ly. Uh, if you go to bit.ly, or it looks like they've now gotten bit.ly, sorry, bitly.com. Um, and you can go there and you can easily shorten a link. In bit.ly's case, you, you, you're you going to want to sign up for an account. You can do it without it, but you get a few more options that, you, that you're going to want. Uh, it's a free service. It doesn't cost you anything. They don't spam you with email. Um, and the account's free. Basically, what you want to do is you want to go back. I want to copy this website address, okay? And then I'm going to go back to Bitly, and I'm just going to put that site in there, and it's going to say, "Hey, what do we want to customize this to?" Um, if I if I don't want to customize it, I can say bit.ly/1ql6. Now that's still a little 
hard for payment people to remember. Um, I know uh, bit.ly.toddprofit's already being used for something, so let's just go Todd Wix. Okay. Um, I, again, I would try to use your name if you haven't already used that as a shortener or if someone else hasn't used it as a shortener, and then all you have to do is hit save. Okay. And now bit.ly slash Todd Wix will always go to that site. Now, you can quickly um, copy that, and it copies it to your web uh, to your clipboard, you can email it or share it out if you want to. So I've copied it, and now if I just go to that short link, it sends me right, right to my site. What you can do is use that short link to put it on your resume, um, or uh, give it to a friend, or it's it's really easy to remember and really easy to to find your site. Um, there are other web hosting companies out there. I've started a collection of just links and, and things that will help you when creating a website at, uh, again, another short link, uh, bit.ly slash USITT2012. If you go there, you're going to get um, all kinds of different uh, sites that you can use, um, uh, other solutions if you need um, somebody to host your site for you. Here's some hosting site examples. Um, but here's some another domain registry is also Bluehost. Um, or if you want to, you can click the bottom tab and see examples of people's work. All right. I think that's all for a tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at todd.profit at gmail.com.